Uh, the goal here is to bring performance of native parallel applications into the web applications. Today, uh, most of the hardware is parallel. When you buy any computer, even a cell phone, there are multiple cores, there are vector instructions, there are graphical processing units. This hardware is used by native applications. It's almost not used by web applications. So we wanted to bridge that gap and bring the capabilities of native applications into the web world. There are uh, many ways to write parallel programs. People have been working on parallel programming probably for the last 20 or 30 years. The challenge of bringing parallelism into the world of web applications is that web applications web developers are not ninja parallel programmers and we don't want to ask every web developer to become expert on parallel programming and that's really a challenge because it's so easy to write a parallel program which once in a while will give your own results and these kinds of bugs are very hard to discover and debug and so we wanted to take the language of web developers, JavaScript, and extend it in such a way that it preserves all its key properties and that web developers don't have to become ninja parallel programmers. And this is how we came up with the parallel JavaScript. So we took the APIs which are already present in the language. For example, JavaScript has arrays and there is an operation map which is going to apply uh, some functionality to every element of an array. All what we do is say use parallel map that is perform the same functionality in parallel. It's still JavaScript. It still preserves all safety and security properties of JavaScript. It's as expressive as the original JavaScript. It just allows you to do things in parallel. And to prevent all these subtle bugs, which you can introduce with parallel programming, we introduce in one restriction. We say, whatever is happening, if there is the information which is shared between your processing units, you can read it, but you can modify only things that you can do themselves. And that way, uh, we avoid subtle interactions between multiple threads.